Okay, so this is my Orange Pi 5, and uh, I'm using the setup I used in this video, uh, which is basically the Rock 5B version of Reborn OS, but adapted to work with the Orange Pi 5. And the Chromium performance is excellent in it, so let's have a look. I'm going to test it on my 4K TV in a minute. At the moment, this is running on a 1080 monitor, so if I launch the Chromium browser, and I've got a couple of sites I was playing around with, so WebGL samples, uh, just to show you how well it works on this. The, this is running OpenGL 3.0, and I showed that in that previous video. And uh, yeah, just it's really impressive. So this is the aquarium, uh, so you can see 500 fish, 1,000 still at 60 FPS, pretty much holding it. 5,000 drops down a bit to uh, what well, we got, 30 FPS, but still looks nice and smooth. 10,000. So let's try something else. And if we scroll down, I'm not sure what Space Rocks is like. Okay, is that going to hit? Oh, yeah. So let's go for many. 60 FPS and lots. Still holding 60 FPS with all sorts going on. Really not struggling with any of this. Really impressive. And there's also this one here, which is like a first person shooter, albeit very basic. But remember, this is running in the browser. So if I WSAD to move around, you can see that it's not struggling. And I can fire, and it's nice and quick. And let's see, I don't know if you get anything in this. Do you get anything to shoot at? Nothing else there, but again, yeah, really not struggling at all. Very, very impressive. Right, let's try a bit of gaming. So if we do a search for Open Lara. So this is Tomb Raider, again, just running in the browser. And we click on this link, it will launch the game. I've got my Xbox controller plugged in. And we can go full screen. Let's just have a look at settings. Uh, it's all configured for the controller as soon as you click on it. Uh, I think this is the settings I was using earlier on. Um, it, the highest settings, it was a little bit laggy, but let's try it like this. And the sound was working fine. I'm not sure if I showed it in my other video. You'll probably hear some music in the background there. Obviously, this bit doesn't look very good, but when we're actually in the game, uh, it looks pretty nice. So we can jump, we can pull the guns. We can look around. We can do we can do the uh, little switch there. Not sure if I'm going to get here if I don't jump. So looking pretty decent. Full screen in the browser. See, she looked up to to suggest where to go. Let's just jump up here and see what's going on. It's really coping with the way all bats. Yeah, definitely impressed with that. So let's quit out of that. And let's go to YouTube. I'll just show it on here first of all with screen capture, but then I'll show it on my TV. So let's try this Brazil one. See, it launches nice and quick as well. I mean, the advert looks amazing. Uh, and let's, so if I go Stats for Nerds, so we can see that it's running on, at 4K, but it's running on a 1080 monitor, but we'll change that in a minute. But the detail looks really, really crisp. I can see the little people all at the top of the hill there. And if I right click and do copy debug information, and let's just, quit out of this. I'll start that up again in a minute. And let's just open a text file and paste that in. You can see it talks about the GPU, Mali G610, OpenGL 3.0. I don't know what other information you use in this debug, but just judging by the performance, it is really decent. So let's close that down and shut down my Orange Pi and plug it into my 4K TV. Let's just log in, and all oh, the bars not quite showing on the bottom of my screen, look. 
That would need adjusting, but I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, so let's start up Chromium, the browser. God, looks really, that image looks really nice. So let's go full screen. Okay, so let's try YouTube on my TV. You can see the text comes up very, very small. Doesn't really make use of the whole screen for some reason, but let's not worry about that. This is more about video performance to see how well it runs. Uh, here we go. So 4K, or oh, it's struggling with the desktop at 4K. Let's turn on Stats for Nerds. So how are we looking? Uh, 14 frames dropped. Definitely running at 4K 30. I think it might have caught up. Yeah, that seems to look all right. I think we're going to play my demo because it's a bit faster. Stats for Nerds is still on, so it's still dropping. No, it's dropping frame. Yeah, it's dropping frames. Let's see if it catches itself up if I'm not using the mouse or anything. So, yeah, it started a bit there. A little bit stuttery. Is it going to catch up? Oh, it's changed. Right, okay, it's, dra it's changed resolution now. I wonder if some of that's to do with my internet. So it's dropped itself down to 1440 and it's playing absolutely fine at that. And it says viewpoint at the top. So the desktop is running at 4K. The video at this stage is running at 1440, which is definitely coping well with. Let's skip back to the beginning, hit play, and then we're gonna change that resolution up to 4K again and see if it's gonna cope with it. So here. So no frames dropped. Oh, it did drop a bit. <laughs> dropped a lot then. Uh, but it's running at 4K now. Uh, it's dropping. No, it's still struggling at 4K on a 4K desktop. So I guess 1440 is the top that it will go. It looks great, but yeah, it's, def it's definitely dropping, whereas it wasn't at 1440. So we've got hardware acceleration, uh, but it's not quite enough to be able to cope with this. I'm going to have to try Android quickly and see if that lets me run at 4K. And my TV will probably tell me what the desktop resolution is. Information. 1080. Okay. So it's not going to be a true test because if it's going to run at 1080, obviously it's a lot less strain on the system. I was just about to do it with the LG remote then. Right, let's change the settings and see, does it give us an option of changing the resolution? It's definitely doing some weird thing about the um, display not, not matching my TV screen. I'm not sure if I can change any of that in the settings. Ah, so if I turn just scan on that, that brings it all in. Now everything's on the screen. Okay, it might be there, but I can't see it. So I'm going to try Android 12. So let's shut this down and put in another SD card. Okay, so that's started up. What does it default to? I mean, it has been running at 1080 before, so I'm guessing it's probably the same. Yeah, still 1080. So let's set preferred resolution. HDMI resolution. Oh, is it only going to go up to 10? Oh no, it's got, uh, it's got 4K, look, 3840 by 2160. No signal. Okay, is it going to do what other operating systems do in that it will revert back as it can't change? Okay, so it's think it's on 4K, but as you can see, the screen is black and I don't know how to revert it back. Let's try switching out and in again and see if that does it. No. Okay, I'm gonna power off and power back on again, even though the system is running. It's not ideal. Okay, that looks better. So the logo is much smaller, so it's definitely starting up in 4K. It does look really crisp, and that really stands out well on the OLED. Okay, we are in 4K. Right, so, have I got the YouTube app on here? I don't know what my cat's doing in the background. Okay, so no YouTube app on here at the moment, but I can sort that out because I've got the Play Store. 
I got this TV on Black Friday, 48 inch uh, A2, and it was 599. I think they're about 900 at the moment, but uh, yeah, it was a it was a very good price. And I can hear some audio if I turn it up on my keyboard. Okay, so let's go full screen. That looks great, really really nice. Uh, and then oh, it's still I'm still getting that thing where it's off the screen. Just scan and on yeah just pulls it in that little bit but that's enough to mean it's full screen i'm not sure why it doesn't do that automatically right so let's skip back to the beginning right click oh stats for nerds is in somewhere different you can see that it's uh it's not running at 4k at the moment it's <laughs> i don't know why it's dropped down to 240. uh so can i i just have to go for higher picture quality and then turn on stats for nerds and see, yeah, it is picking 4K. Right, that looks good. That looks really good. I'm not sure why I haven't got stats for nerds, but I can tell that it's not dropping frames. Well, significant, not dropping significant frames. So, stats for nerds. Okay, so it doesn't want to give me stats for nerds. So what I think I'll do is I'll just skip it back and just watch it because if it looks all right with the human eye then it's fine so now it's running 4k yeah that looks really good super smooth really really sharp yeah very impressive so android still has the best gpu support and 4k 60 or 4k 30 is no problem at all but I was very impressed with what I got with Chromium, with that Rock 5B image was, was really good, uh, considering we're running in Linux and, and GPU support's usually really bad. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.